Hi everybody, this is Fagun Shah from Integration Lab. In today's video, we are going to see a new feature introduced by an RPA tool called Zero Work and how it works with Public Connect custom map which I have created. The custom app is currently totally free and I am also trying to get it approved by Zero Work founder uh, and Public Connect uh, team as well. So it might be available uh, publicly as well by the time I launch this video. But yeah, let's get started and I will show you how to get the app and stuff as well. So first you need to go to this link. Uh, I will put this link in the video of this description and you can just click on this get, enter your details and then if you go to any workflow of your uh, public connect account you will be able to find zero work as a uh, particular action in your uh, public connect workflow okay uh, so what i have done here is we are capturing the data from uh, this is a demo workflow dummy workflow i am not revealing my original data by the way i will also uh, change my zero webu url after this video as well so yeah what i am doing here is that i am capturing a stripe payout data via webhook entering those data in google sheet and also triggering zero work uh, webhook to run the rpa bot now if you are new to uh, rpa things zero work is a very easy to use tool uh, and i will recommend it a lot as well uh, if you are completely beginner in rpa and you just want to do some basic things then it is a a uh, good tool to start i would say uh, it was on app sumo ltd as well in the past so yeah uh, that is what uh, currently we are going to do we are going to see this workflow and how that custom app works okay so first let's understand the use case so use case is there is an app called budgetbakers.com they also have android and ios app for tracking your daily expenses and uh, setting up goals and other stuff now what i want is every time there is a new stripe payout from my stripe account i want to add that thing as an income in here okay so for that i have to log into budgetbaker.com i have to select stripe to template uh, otherwise i have to type them these things manually as well and then i have to let's say i uh, enter thousand rupees and this is how the whole process works right now i want this to be automated and in order to do this completely automatically we have set up something uh, uh, via zero work uh, rpa bot and uh, public connect workflow so let's see how that is going to work right now okay so i am going to log out of this budget maker thing close that thing i will close this tab as well and by the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do that uh, so you can uh, get this kind of free custom apps in public connect and yeah you will get more automation knowledge as well right so yeah let's go to uh, the rpa thing first so why we are using a google sheet in between via public connect and zero work so currently uh, zero work doesn't support webo payload it can only trigger the bot uh, so you have to make sure that your uh, bot is already connected and uh, running on your system while the webook is triggered okay so what we are doing is we are opening the budget maker uh, thing uh, the website then we are entering id and password in these two things then we are log clicking on the login button and then we are running a loop which is basically picking up all the data from here where if the status is not synced then it should push that data into the budget maker app that is the our ultimate goal right so the last time when the budget maker app was open we saw that the data was 3300 and if we now push this it should be 500 in uh, addition right so 3800 in total right so let's uh, go here and if you want to learn more about this thing like how this everything works what is css selector and expert selector and everything i would recommend watch uh, zero work founders videos on their own channel uh, she explains everything very clearly i learned everything from her videos only actually and she has also recently updated uh, the whole video series so that might help her a lot as well right so yeah uh, Currently, I am not going to trigger the webhook. I am just going to trigger the bot directly from here by say, uh, sending us a 
send, send and place request okay by the way you can also run it in the background so what will happen is that you won't even be able to let's say you are working on your other work or other browser window or something like that or maybe you are on a zoom call you won't notice this thing even right so i will just close this close the zero work as well close this as well and let's go to public connect let's do a save and send test request and this is the response you should be receiving right and then you just have to i guess wait for uh i think maybe one minute or something just to uh, see the result uh, it only updates the column value when all the executions are completed not in the middle of the execution so it doesn't update like one by one rows so that is one more thing which you need to keep in mind but yeah the base thing which i like is that uh, you don't have to do anything complex setup like robo motion for the demo like you don't have to host it anywhere or something like that you can just run it directly on your system so see it now says sync so if i now try to log into my wallet app and let's do this this is and see 3800 so this is how you can trigger the webhook and the zero work uh, also provides like proper documentation what is how you can turn on the webhook turn off the webhook and other stuff as well so here you can see this is the webhook url which you need to copy paste inside here uh, even if you don't pass anything in json it doesn't matter i am by default sending this data just so zero work except uh, public connect can send the data properly it doesn't trigger the empty webhook at all so that is the reason i am sending this data and zero work founder has also confirmed that she is going to add payload support in future for the webhook so that is also a great news and i will be waiting for that and yeah this is it for now i am going to delete this webhook before someone tries to misuse this and this is completely closed now i hope this video was helpful uh, feel free to ask any question you have in the comments i will try to answer um, best way possible thank you thank you uh, see you in the next video